I had been teaching intro to psych uh, early in my career in the 70s, and I returned to the intro psych classroom voluntarily and quite excited because I enjoyed teaching uh, in 1999. And I looked for the textbook that would show psychological science at his it had evolved in the 21st century and found textbooks very much like I had been using in the 70s. And that's actually why I set out to write a text. Uh, it was to try to provide material and a perspective representing psychological sciences that existed so that I could show how the students how these various fields fit together. The pedagogy of the book and the pedagogy in my classes in psychology are, are designed around showing how uh, the field has become a more integrated empirical science. Uh, each chapter uh, looks very much like chapters you'd see in other books so that it's easy for faculty to adapt uh, to the new uh, textbook, but it's each chapter, let's say the cognitive chapter, or the bio chapter, begins with an exception to cognitive or bio being all important. It's much more uh, integrated, requiring all these perspectives that the students are learning in the various chapters be brought together to understand the problem, rather than isolation, social isolation, you must go to the social psych chapter, or maybe in extreme cases the clinical psych chapter, and that'll have the solution. In fact, it's not. There's a biological component, there's developmental components, there are cognitive components, there are individual differences, there's social, there's abnormal components, and so all of them together can give us a better answer. One of the features we have in all the chapters is an interpersonal relationships feature. And we actually talk about what does this perspective, the perspective covered in the chapter, tell us about our interpersonal relationships. Now, that isn't surprising if we're talking about the social chapter, right? Social psychology studies interpersonal attraction, interpersonal relationships. So there's a lot of information that that particular perspective tells us about how best to relate to other people. But the bio chapter has information that informs our relationships. The developmental chapter does, the cognitive chapter does, the clinical and abnormal chapters do. So in each case, the personality, individual differences, all of these tell us something unique about our interpersonal relationships, most of which we would miss in, in other texts. And we've tried to use that as an integrating feature to show how no single perspective is right or wrong. All of them are valuable, all of them are necessary to understand more completely our mind and our behavior.